Welcome everyone to the Talk with Tarashik podcast. My name is Will Tarashik. That's T as in Thomas. A R A S H U K. And Christopher, it's officially time you can laugh that intro. <laughs> fucking, it sounded like the most basic podcast intro ever, but I loved it. Basic podcast intro. That's the first time anyone's ever like dissed my intro. That's all me, baby. That, all you. All that. The voices. The only thing I didn't do was edit and mix. That was all Christian man behind the board. This is the Talk with Tarashik podcast. The unknown, unnamed, non with myself, Will Tarashik, Christian man behind the board, and my cousin Christopher Tarashik, who is a Twitch streamer. Um, and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna talk some shit. So, Christian, how are you, my friend? What's up? Doing well, man. I'm ready to get into it. Uh, took a little time on the setup here, doing different things, but bringing people into the studio now. So I'm glad we figured that out. Yeah, we're still trying to kind of figure out how the best way to do uh, two people in studio setup. And uh, look at my camera angle needs to be adjusted a little bit. We'll do that next week. It's fine. I'll deal with it. I'll, I love it. Christopher, you're my cousin. I am your cousin. You're my cousin. So the last time we had Michael on, who was also my cousin, but you were a little bit of a different vibe than Michael. Well, Michael is the traveling pierogi. I, I don't get around <laughs> as much as our lovely pierogi brethren. But I definitely get up to some different shenanigans. I low-key kind of thought this podcast thing and Christopher would be a perfect guest. And it was just a matter of time. So here we are. I guess, I don't know. Introduce yourself. You were wrong, first of all. Um, I'm, should I, should, can I plug myself here, Yeah, too? no, do it. Do it now at the end. So who, who the fuck what, are you? Exactly. Who are you? So I'm Chris. I'm William's cousin by blood, sadly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we hang around at family gatherings and talk a lot of shit because um, sometimes... It's shit. a struggle getting through those gatherings. Shit needs to be talked. That's exactly, why. Exactly. Exactly. I also stream on Twitch under Paper or Gaming. That's Pog for short. You'll see that in my lovely logo. And I just do stupid shit. Usually battle royales. Like, let's figure it out. Figure it out. Um, I'm a lumberjack and a college student, so I spent my entire day today splitting wood, and my head is still ringing, and my hands are still moving logs like as we go. I just felt like a machine today. I was listening to other podcasts. I should have been putting on the talking with Tara Shuck next Yeah, time. yeah. You should have known me getting into all the questions that are going to be asked. But I did share the question with you. So, Christian, man behind the board. First question. I didn't eat shit. That's fine. First question. Hmm. Dumbest fortune cookie of all time. Oh, what's the dumbest fortune cookie you ever got? That I've ever got. Can you remember that far back? I can't I even. I can't even. I don't know why I asked this one. I haven't. See, I haven't gotten any. This. Okay. No, When's no. the last time you had a fortune cookie? Uh, last night. So what did, what did it say? It's some stupid. Hang on. Let me get into that. So fortune cookies piss me the hell off lately because, okay, first of all, none of them are ever fortunes. They're only <laughs> some like trying to be wise shit. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start a fortune cookie company. And like, I need to like patent this. Like Peter Griffin? Basically, but it's just going to be shit fortunes. It's going to be like, you're going to get hit by a bus tomorrow. So the people who genuinely believe that these fortune cookies are telling fortunes, Get a good scare. You will find true love on Flag Day. That is the best fortune cookie that has ever been because that was a Simpsons bit. That was a episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns had to find true love on Flag Day. And that's why Flag Day is my favorite holiday outside of Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and any other real holiday. I See, there's some real holidays that are pretty, like, lackluster, though. Like Easter. That rabbit. Okay. I, I don't so, want to get into the Catholic Church. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we're not going to attack the Catholic Church. We're going to attack the rabbit that shits out candy for little children. And have, eggs. Have you ever? It lays eggs. This is true. That's a that's a chicken's job. So, have you ever seen those like old school photos of like Easter bunnies that look like the stuff of nightmares? It's no. like okay. So I don't remember where I first saw this, but one night I just kind of went down a rabbit hole of fucked up pun. costumes. Ah, there's a pun right there. Good one, Christian. I'm just a natural. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking up like Santas, old Easter bunnies, old whatever it may be. Like people just dressed up in costumes for like the mall. And some of these Easter bunnies were terrifying. It's not a Ralphie from A Christmas Story looking all cute. The, the pink one? Yeah, he, I mean Thomas, but. Yes, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like. These nightmarish animatronic looking things, like something Five Nights at Freddy's would have been like based ha off. You guys ever seen a Happy Tree Friends? Oh my god! What is what is Happy Tree Friends? Happy Tree Friends is basically like these like bunnies and like animated stuffed animals that they appear to be super sweet, and then like they get in an accident of some sort, where like their head gets ripped off or like a lawnmower is coming. They it's like really gory. 
but it's with these like these like almost like Easter rabbit, Easter bunny kind of things. It sounds like the like, the Veggie Tales. Yeah. So it's it's really fucked up. I know it's really gory, but they all have like different characters. They have a bunch of different characters. So there's like a moose with an upside down antler who's just meant to be a dipshit. Like uh, so, Bullwinkle. There's there's like a happy oh you know the character rabbit not very well. And I then, didn't, I, didn't... I know these three. And then there's like a green. I think it's a teddy bear who's meant to be like an old soldier with PTSD. And this is the one episode of Happy Tree Friends I really remember. Don't remember what it's called. I just remember they're doing Happy Tree Friend things. Being happy. Being friends. And all of a sudden, Sarge. I mean, that's what I'm going to call him because I don't remember what the hell the teddy bear's name is. Sarge gets some flashbacks. And so he tears the head off. I don't remember which. Maybe it was a rabbit. Maybe it was like a baby chicken. And he just starts going on a rampage. And it's it's some of the most disturbing shit you'll ever see and i'm sure parents have showed like kids it thinking oh happy tree friends this seems like a lovely thing for my kids to watch on youtube and then uh it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> and then it wasn't that's a hell of a fortune cookie yeah exactly that's a hell of a fortune okay so you'll back... find your happy tree friends was back the worst back to, back to the original prompt the worst fortune cookie i actually it's worse or the best i'm gonna let you guys decide if you're still hungry grab another fortune cookie that's actually pretty solid. I think I'd take another. Right? One. That's pretty clever, right? Eh, eh. It's the it's the only one I ever remember. Can oh, you, you've actually gotten that that's one. The, that's that's that, that's that. an actual fortune cookie I actually got from an actual Chinese place in Branching, Massachusetts. Good for you, man. Yeah, it's the only I, I mean I can't remember a single fortune cookie. I just like Christopher said, it's just like, what the hell is this? Like, this isn't like, I feel like fortune cookies instead should either have something like, like kind of just that's going to fuck up your day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or call them motivation <laughs> like, cookies. There's like, no or, or like, like, yeah. Or like an affirmation. Mm. It's like, like you're like, like, or even something just like you're loved. Simple. That's a solid, solid idea. It's gonna make you more money than podcasting. I don't know who's cuts. reading this, and and then it's gonna be it's gonna be better than riddles that like people just can't understand. You know, just just say something nice. You get you get a you get a riddle, a mag, some magic numbers, and like a a word in that's translated. That's what you get. Speaking of magic numbers, what are your thoughts? On, okay, yeah, now I'm asking questions. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. That's, 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 that's where the cookie crumbles. So, so what do you think about that guy from like Iowa or Idaho, whatever the I state was, that won the like billion dollars? Oh, it was Illinois. Mega Illinois. Money. So yeah, so he won $1.28 billion, but only took home $400 million because of taxes. Wow. So I saw I, the meme was... Wow. Uh, Congratulations to the IRS for winning the Powerball. Yes, seriously. Facts. Facts. Well, here's here's the thing, right? It expo I'm glad you brought this up because this this exposes the scam that is the lottery, especially Powerball, right? Because it's always been like that. It's always been taxed at like sixty percent, maybe depending depending on the state. Um, but you get I think it's federal and state tax they have to pay. So in total, the person took home about four hundred fifty million dollars, but still hell of a payday. Especially for spending what, like two dollars? Like if you're, oh, like yeah. if you're bitching about that, I mean, that's it's stupid. just crazy. It it's, sucks. it's still crazy though. It is crazy. It's, it's like it's it like when, like, really successful artists they complain about their deals because it's like you could actually see what they would have made, yeah. what the record company's taking versus what they're paid. But if, you know, it's like Madonna's complaining, you know, and it's like you're rich as hell. It's one of those things. But like it, you know, the, the house always wins. Uh, yeah, house always wins. I just take this as another way to blame the government for things and be mad at the government because I love being mad at the government. Uh, but yeah, like why the government get all this money? Because reasons, really. Yeah. They, they didn't do anything. And again, neither did that guy do anything. The guy won. So congratulations to him. And yeah, thank God for memes for exposing the Powerball for being a freak of tax. It's just a giant fraud. I mean, the fact that people are really only hearing about stuff like that through memes. Like, I didn't yeah. even know it was one until I saw it in memes. I feel like that says a lot about, like, not just, like, your generation and, like, my generation, but just kind of everyone growing up now. Because you'll see a lot of opinions just start formulating strictly based around memes. <laughs> and I am so guilty of this, like... A few years ago. Did now you I'm buy like, GameStop because of memes? No, I wish I did, though, because yeah. I started hearing about the memes like when it was real low before. Like, and yeah. I was like, I thought about it. I'm like, 
I should chuck like a thousand dollars into this in case this meme takes off. Just in case. And then, you know, the rational side of me was like, that's stupid. And uh, instead, I spent that on a Twitch setup that definitely didn't have the same payout, but it's had some great emotional effects on me. And I love my little dipshits. Yeah, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, Powerball. Fun of the Powerball. Christian, what's the next question? Oh, wait, but hang on. Before we move on, so do you know where the lottery, like, started all in all? The These origins, are good questions. Like, the origins, the, the of, origins of the lottery. I have no idea what the origins of the lottery are. The fucking mafia. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. The it's, mafia. Elaborate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not... Put that camera on him. I believe that. Okay, so I'm not super, super well-versed on this, but it started with, I think, the New York Mafia okay. offering it up as something, and like factory workers would come pay into it, and the Mafia would be taking a lot of money, obviously, and then pay out to someone once they win. And that's where it started, and it grew into this big, big thing where now it's a statewide thing, but it all started with the Mafia and poor people trying to make money off that, and they realized, we can take a lot of poor people's money this way. <laughs> oppression <laughs> yeah that's wow that i i look into that a bit i, more I believe i believe every word of that it all it all comes from the mafia it's like the most innovation the most well, innovation in this like, country a, comes from a, organized crime or pornography it's a racket <laughs> yeah all it rac- is a racket all the rackets whoa wait, wait, wait. explain how the right brothers brothers were either pornographers or part of the mafia well I, i'm just saying Flight. I didn't say flying. No, you said most innovation. I said a lot of this is a big innovation. A lot of innovation either comes from illegal activities or pornography, <laughs> or trying to get around, or uh, a, a recession, or a recession, a recession. Yeah, entrepreneurs, great yeah. ideas, recession. So, like you know, you know how the whole metaverse is going to be a big thing. It's never going to be a thing. It's totally going to be a thing. But what they're not, what they're not telling you is that porn's been already doing this for the past like five years. VR porn's already a thing. Okay, VR, VR porn, it was going to take off no matter what. But like meta, uh, the porn, porn, the porn industry has definitely changed Look, and shaped a lot of other industries. I'm going into crime if the metaverse really takes over. Because if you're there in your headset enjoying your like penthouse suite in a rundown apartment, it's like, all right, I'm taking your TV. What are you gonna? What are, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like you're there, you're like, yeah, I'm living this lavish life. I'm just gonna go stuff. steal your shit. I'm just shit. gonna rob you of everything but the VR stuff, and you're not even gonna notice because you're gonna be too busy playing with your anime wife who's titties be like, gonna be in the metaverse. You're gonna be there, like, gonna be there <laughs> with like glasses over your face, not knowing what's going around. No up. pants on. I'm no, gonna walk in like no way at all. And take then, your shit and leave. And then I come back to your old and be like, well, ugh, might as well go back until I die. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> He's like, I'm way more wealthy in the metaverse. It's like Ready Player One, which is a movie I still need to see, and I'm ashamed that I haven't seen it. It's, it's all right. I enjoyed it. I feel like there's a lot of movies I, I kind of have gotten stuck on that route with, though. Like, I watched Anchorman for the first time three days ago. How was that possible? I Exactly. I just kind of fall behind. The movie came out in 2004. It. Yeah, but Ish. I was also, like, child. Like, my parents didn't want me to see stuff like that. Then, you know... They got divorced, and mom's house was the we don't watch anything yeah. inappropriate. Wait, you were, you Dad's were house I was what? growing up on, South Park, what, and I found my way to Live Leak. Yeah. Ah. So even if I saw Anchorman as a three year old, I don't gain consciousness till I'm like five to seven. Yeah, but dude, you've been an ad- legal adult for you've been you, you can see you can see you, you've been able to see R rated movies for four years now. Oh yeah, yeah for for the last well, four years. I mean, pandemic, R-rated. like, come on. Like yeah, the right? theaters, no, like there's a theaters, lot of stuff there I wasn't, into. you know, in the last three or four years, theaters haven't really been booming. You can skip Anchorman too. Yeah, I've always, I've always been more of a show person rather than movie. The only movies I really like, religiously will watch are Star Wars. And well, that's because movies suck now. Yeah, that we co- too. We covered, like it, we covered this last week. Yeah, like we, we want to go, I want to go back week. into it too crazy. But no, movies, we don't have to. Movies, Facts. there's suck like nothing now. original. The last like originalish movie I remember seeing was Baby Driver. I was like, this is pretty unique. It's not like it was piggybacking yeah. up anything. Yeah, I really liked Baby and Driver. It was so I thought it was so underrated. It was. It was definitely underrated. Not underrated. People who saw the movie fucking loved the movie. Yeah. What, what movie is this? Baby Driver. I think it was underappreciated and deserved to take off a lot more. Just that first chase scene alone. It was an interesting take on like a heist crime drama. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, it was Never interesting. Seen it. like, the main character like doesn't talk too much. Is he deaf or something? He's, what's, he's what's his thing? He's got serious tinnitus. That's so what it he is. Always the has ringing. Headphones, the headphones in, listening in. to music to drown it out. 
but it's it's a sick movie I, if you haven't seen it i'd suggest watching it and baby driver give us royalties for promoting your stuff i mean goddamn i have i have tinnitus right now my ears are ringing as we speak my ears are constantly ringing probably because i have that's, headphones that's on i got those day. pillowy headphones. pillowy headphones on right yeah now. dude i love i love these ridiculous the, headphones i'm glad i'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm so, glad i'm yeah. the one wearing them so i feel like for the audience should know just a little bit about my cousin he enjoys being the dipshit and looking as I ridiculous don't know if I en- as possible. Uh, I might enjoy it. Yeah, you do enjoy it. Don't try to deny it. So we saw these, and, and Christian was like, I don't want to fucking wear these. I'm going to look ridiculous. And William shoots his hand up like an excited little third pick grader. Me. Pick me! Pick me! I like doing ridiculous... Okay. One of my life mottos is anything for the story. Oh, that's one of my mottos, too. Anything for the story. And this right here, this is a story. And it's ingrained in that forever in video format. That's primarily the reason why I'm kind of happy when bad shit happens to me. As long as it's I'm a like, okay, but story. now that's part of my story and yeah. I have to overcome that. Yeah. You know? But if it's shitty bad stuff, it's well, like, it's, it's like, not like, a worthwhile Well, I'll give story. you an example. My car last September with that crazy super storm, it got flooded and got totaled. Oof. And I'm like, well, this sucks, but now it's part of my story. Now I don't have a car. Now I got to overcome this and get another car. I, I wasn't expecting to buy a car, but do I have a car right now? In August of uh, 2022, I do have a car. So, you know, that was part of my story. Did you get an insurance payout for that? I did. Well, there you go. That helps. Well, it's like, it's catch 22. My car was almost paid off, so I got a fat check. However, just to start another car payment. Mm. Yeah. But are your payments a lot lower than they were? No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just, I just and of course it. my insurance went up like even though it was not my fault at all but you know it's, it's just yeah na- natural like natural disasters place. natural it's like, disasters it's included in the contract but they somehow still <laughs> you should raised, have known the storm was coming somehow <laughs> still raised my insurance you know insurance companies are the second biggest theft unit besides taxes behind the government yeah taxation's theft clearly i won the powerball and the i'd say i'd say but you got to be specific you got to say, like, car insurance. No, even, like, home insurance. Health like insurance that. is a Not life racket. insurance. Everyone dies. Yeah, so why does it need to be insured? So your family can get can be good when you're gone. Yeah, see, but you don't... No, <laughs> see, I could, get, I could, really, get get, I could really give you a lot of arguments on this. Well, I used to be a I know, financial I know. advisor. I, 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 okay, let's, let's, let, let's, let's dive head first into that. So if, if everyone right. dies... Okay. We've established that aging is, a disease, is aging is a disease... You're not insuring against the death. You're insuring yeah, you against the argue? financial uh, life I, I, security. Are you trying to argue that buying the insurance will stop you from dying? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'm but saying, that's that. But, that, but I'm what, saying, what is the purpose of life insurance? Paying for your funeral. So if, if no, it's well, that's one of them. But if let's say you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? You have a family, right? You're, you have kids, you have a seven-year-old, you have a 10-year-old, you have a wife. Yep. You have responsibilities. Correct. You die tomorrow. What are they going to do? If you were integral to that lifestyle that they were li- living, you were paying the mortgage, you were saving up for them to go to college, all of these things that if you do not live, they could end up, you know, total lifestyle switch. Going right. from a nice, cozy house in the suburbs, let's say, to a shitty ass apartment that's like five hundred dollars a month, and the kids aren't going to college. They're now they're going to community colleges, maybe, and their entire life is derailed because of your death. That's what life insurance is for. It's also for estate planning to avoid taxes. Right, but how much how much of a payout do you get? Right, much, it depends how much you put in. It depends in. on your policy. So it depends on your policy. So if and it's also it's also because it's life insurance. You know, this is a, this is the the insurance company doesn't want to get the short end of the stick. So if you're healthier, like say if you or I got insurance right now, we could probably get a million dollar policy or half a million dollar policy for fairly cheap. But if you're 50 years old, yeah, it's more expensive. You're not, it's going to pay a higher premium, right? Well, I mean, and they do they do health checks, they do blood, they do all of this stuff, right? Because but they you, don't want you, the short you could also just take all of that money that you would put towards a health insurance plan and just put it in investments in other places and get more money. It's like, why are you insuring? Well, here's the other thing. Why are you insuring the, I got something an that's argument against gonna that one happen? Too. I got an argument against that one, too. Okay, let me hear it. What people don't know is that life insurance policies, the ones that aren't term, term insurance means it's like, okay, you pay this for 20 years. Right. A full policy is a policy that you pay the entirety of your life. You know, term 20, 
you could you might live 20 years and then you're done you had no equity in it it's like renting an apartment right full life insurance you pay for the entirety of your life and it's going to pay out cuz everyone dies but the thing that people don't know about is that the full life insurance policies they and this is a big one they have it's basically a brokerage account inside of a life insurance wrapper so part of the money goes to the insurance death benefit and part of it goes to the investment portion and here's the big thing it's an ins- it life insurance is a tax loophole because for whatever reason life insurance proceeds are not taxable so part of it's going towards the death benefit and part of it's going to the insurance the, the insu- uh the investment portion so when you die they get the life insurance benefit plus the cash value no taxes i do like no so taxes. so this is a, so the argument in terms of investments you're doing you're getting two things in one christopher any comment um so i was actually listening into another podcast i've been really listening a lot to but don't do a whole life guys whole life suck um and they were talking about getting when you get a partner in a real estate deal so to avoid anything like in a worst case scenario, this is more of a peace of mind thing. Each partner would get life insurance on each other over the house. So like say we're in a partnership and you die and now you've got Tits McGee, your wife and whoever, like your little shit children. Um, Cause let's face it, you're going to be a terrible father. I mean, fuck <laughs> you. How dare you? So, <laughs> so basically you'd have this policy. So if you were to die in like a car crash or anything, Instead of the house being transferred to their name, like that part of the partnership being transferred to their name, I'd be able to buy you out first. Mm. And then they'd get that money plus the life insurance stuff. And I'm not getting screwed over by your wife being a bad partner to me right. or whoever would have gotten it being a bad partner. So right. it's also used in the real estate world for that reason. It, it's uh, it's used a lot in uh, mm-hmm. business, like you said. Especially of, doing beca- Because stuff. of partnerships and things like that, exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, well, I guess I stand corrected. Telling you, man. Idiot. Yeah, someone tried something. I don't really want to. I don't really don't want to get in too much into my planning, my my planning hat, where I break it down. But I just gave you a little quick synopsis. Uh, uh-huh, that's fair enough. All right, let's ask. Let's ask a question. All right, three things you buy that you might buy at a store. Maybe not might buy. Three, what are three things that you could buy at a store that would make the clerk extremely uncomfortable? Any store. All right. Could be a Home Depot, could be a grocery store, convenience store. I I, I got the first two right off, right off. I already have my answer, too. So (laughs) this is a hard one. I don't know how to answer this one. All right. Antifreeze, like like the really bright blue antifreeze. Okay. What else, though? Yeah, Like the combination of things. A bulk thing of Arctic blue Gatorades. (laughs) Yeah. And the, 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 the third thing would be like. I don't know, some something to like a like a drink stand table or something like that, or like a lemonade. So oh, <laughs> uh, works, like, uh, like uh, a, a, a pitcher. So like, like a lemonade pitcher. So oh, I no, guess a ex- funnel. A funnel. A so funnel. It's like, so, so I can pour the and so they're like, is this guy pouring antifreeze into these Gatorades to give out? <laughs> <laughs> Just, like the clerk's like, like the clerk would have to like have a little bit of insight. But they just, they're just oh like, God. what the fuck? Antifreeze, Gatorade, and a funnel. What the hell? Okay. That's good. That's, that's fucking good. That or you go to CVS, you get a Pringles can, a latex glove, and a set of sponges. Hmm. I, I can't put those three together. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm uh, not. You've never, you've never heard of any shit like that. Never. We're, all right. So that is like, have you guys ever heard of like the arsonist cookbook? No. Mm-mm. Oh, well, that's something that was around like, before I had consciousness on like the early internet, which like taught you how to make napalm and stuff. Okay. So that's with, with those three. Uh, okay. use It's like a PG arsonists cookbook where it's, it's like make your own fleshlight. You've never heard of that. No, You've never seen memes. I, about I, that? I've never been on that I part of the like, internet. I feel like so on that part of the internet. Dude, my, my internet <laughs> is very tame left. compared to that. <laughs> the internet I know is not like that. Not my internet. Mm. I found my way to live leak at the age of twelve, so that explains why I'm fucked. Yeah, you probably know about Silk Road too, then, and all that kind. Oh, of... like the dark web and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I never got really into the dark web. I just know of it. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Christian, what are your three things? Um, 
Wait, see, I was thinking something along his lines, just something like really like like rope, um, <laughs> like duct tape, <laughs> rope, and, and a porno mag. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that, like I don't know. I don't think you could get those places, those things in the same place. I got to think about third item. <laughs> Sports would say it's swimsuit edition. So you got a rope, you got duct tape, and like. I don't know something like that would like possibly demonstrate torture. Three orange Gatorades. Like a, if I'm a clerk and they're buying know. three orange Gatorades, I'm calling the police. But my three things that I can Why? think of. Orange Gatorades are good. Orange Gatorades. Anything to flavor uh, orange. I don't I think. Hate. I don't. I don't That's really think. I don't really like the, ye- the yellows. Aren't that great either. But other. other what, hold, no, uh, no, 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 no. Time, yeah, out, time, time out. Time, time out. Time, time out. out. I'm, with, so, I'm with on this one. So I just my boss and I actually went on a whole rant about how like. My boss doesn't think yellow is the best flavor of Gatorade, yeah, but it is the most refreshing drink on the planet Earth. He's like, you take a, you're like dehydrated. I mean, you gotta drink a yellow you cold. A you gotta drink it cold. I'll get, it, is, it is the most refreshing. Why Red's you... the best. Yeah, it's the most no, refreshing. I think blue the is the worst. most, I think blue. Glacier I, Freeze. I think Glacier Freeze is like the most yeah. tasty. But if yeah, I'm it tastes water down and to need, me and need to be refreshed, I'm getting myself a it's cold just yellow minty Gatorade. cool, man. It's just, oh. It's ah, that's what ah tastes like. <laughs> it's it's like ah tastes like it's like those how to chew five gum commercials where it's like oh you take a bite of the gum then you get taken out. Can by we an talk about how ridiculous team. and uh, like unrelated to gum those commercials used to be? No, they're the best. I think it's a question on here. What's it like to chew five gum? <laughs> Can I just rock we'll, him for we'll, that answer? We'll, like, we'll just tape dive it across. Well, the let me, table. Let me tell table. you my actual table. three things. Yeah, my three, actual th- three things. My actual three things. I'd say not not where you're gonna get like you're either gonna get like a. Like a head nod from the clerk, we're gonna be like one nice. of these. I'd say lip balm, mints, and condoms. It's like, oh, I know what you're doing tonight, buddy. <laughs> but then, like, I guess you usually, I guess in that situation, a lot of people they would get a fourth item to kind of break it up. It's like, nah, dude, you're you're still buying this shit with an Arizona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so, so it's the same thing. Along those lines, the other day I like to use protection because I'm not trying to have little Christopher's running around yet. I think so, he's about to tell us that he's sexually active. Basically, but I had to run to the store. I needed to get condoms. I'm like, okay. And then I saw him. I like looked in my fridge and I've started packing my lunch lately because I'm sick of spending $15 <laughs> I thought you were about day. to say you look for your condoms in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not where you guys keep your rubbers. So I go to the store. I'm like, all right, I need condoms and I need Swiss cheese because I ran out of cheese. <laughs> so I just went, got some Swiss to this, this question. cheese so related to this question. and condoms, slapped it on the clerk. And guy looked at me he, like he gave me that like what the fuck look I'm like I just like looked down you're at him you're like the cheese up. is not sexual it could be <laughs> Swiss could, cheese is pretty it, it's got holes for a reason who do you think made those holes I don't have an answer for that I also have an answer for that oh, well, I have not a clue I can't think you know Chris, I, I fucked cheat I mean wow <laughs> the more you know Chris I'm still gonna think of things off the top of my head but this one I'm stumped. I'm stumped I, on no, this one. Three things. Three, thi- three um, things. Three things. Um, I like to me immediately when I think uncomfortable, I automatically think violent or sexual. Yeah, of course. Right. Or like, um, okay, okay, I got it. Or like, just, just, just weird. Like, like, like three, may, maybe, candy? maybe they just, they just don't go together. I got it. I got it. It's it's um, boner pills, condoms. And a birthday card for your mom. Oh man! Repeat. You got to repeat that on the split screen. <laughs> the shorts. We got we got boner pills, condoms. Condoms is a common phrase around here. And a birthday card for your mom. Aunt Lisa, I hope you know where your birthday cards are uh, being bought. <laughs> no, no, from. no. I don't buy birthday cards. My mom knows that. I don't buy birthday cards. He, you don't he buy makes them, them with crayons. No, I. Do you, you steal them, dude? No, I, he I, I hate regifts. <laughs> I hate, I hate getting. And giving cards, I hate it. Are you bad at like giving sentimental like uh? No, I just like dude like cards commentary. are useless. I don't need. I, a, I don't. I don't need a. I don't need a hallmark to tell you how I feel. I mean, I typically, I typically buy blank cards. Yeah. And write something in them. Yeah. I mean, because sometimes like the message in there is just like, yo, this guy, this person's great, but he's kind of an asshole too. I need something that's a little bit more complicated than this sweet thing that's written here. Yeah. It's, I need I need something a little bit more gray. <laughs> so, like on the topic of cards, I will hang on to cards. I have a box of cards of like that I've gotten. I throw them out immediately. Almost mo- most of them are from my dad, 
and he like wrote out like paragraphs and my dad's not very good at like expressing emotion and everything mm. so it's like i'll do something good and he'll just give me like blank face but then like come my birthday he's like i'm really proud of the man you're becoming and it's like really sentimental i'm like mm. this is coming from the same guy what so I hang on to those cards, and then I hang on to. <laughs> this, is, this is you. Then I hang on to really <laughs> you fucking. Who actually wrote cards. this? Do you mean this? <laughs> yeah, I know it's him because it has the same chicken scratch handwriting. <laughs> right. And then I just have like really funny ones because my friends are like funny. So I have these three. My three friends on my 18th birthday, they came and they got me like congratulations, like sexy grandma, like cringy birthday cards for like mm. that ladies would buy each other at the age of 72. And talking yeah, about funny friends, yeah. Gilf. I'm like, That's okay. a funny thing to I'm do. I'm like, nope, this is something I'm hanging on to. Congratulations on turning like 18 sweet pie. And they all wrote like paragraphs of cringy, <laughs> like, I'm like, I love you guys. I have one birthday card. Actually, I have a few birthday cards. Handmade. If it's a handmade, if it's a handmade one, I'll hang on to it. Uh, my fr- I, I, and I keep them. I keep all my like sentimental things in my safe. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the, and I keep my closet. So everything that's important to me goes in there. I keep them in a cardboard shoebox. Under under the bed? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Now I know where to break into. I just keep them in my drawer. Or... Do you keep two for each household? Mom and dad's house? No. They uh, tend to end up at the same place. Mm. Probably the mom's house. Your dad's house is a mess. No, it's at my dad's. I've been cleaning it up. Yeah, like no, a you... madman. Good luck. I'm, it's coming along. You'd be amazed. I'll I'll pop in. I'll pop you, in on Saturday. I'll you, be a judge You that. gotta pop by. Like the front hall. You can walk down the front hall much easier now. The garage. I have this, so I, your face. I need to show you this photo because I completely pulled everything out of my garage, like like to the point it was only walls. I dragged. Wow. How, everything how long did that out take? Five hours. Jesus. Um, I believe five. It. Dude, my uncle, I, my uncle Chris is a hoarder. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it only took five. So hang on. Here's here's the before picture. Okay. Of the garage. Yep. See if that's it. Focus in on on this. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah. That's it, all right. Like, I could not walk a foot into the garage, and I got to pull out the... I don't have an after photo yet. I have a video. Oh, so this wasn't just, like, this wasn't, like, organized. You were just throwing it all out. No, I wish. And this was everything on the lawn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Yeah, oh, that's from upstairs. Jesus. Yeah, that's from my bedroom. That's a really, yeah. little aerial, st- aerial view real and quick. And you still can't see everything. Guess how many hose I pulled out of there. <laughs> I pulled out 12 garden hose. So I'm sitting there with all my hose around me and my eight sledge I think you know what you I think you my, know what you're doing here talking about your seven, hose. And my seven shovels and my fucking All right. So I, I think I think I got a new answer am, for that am question. Am I the only the one, am I the only one hearing him talking about his hose? Like weed whackers? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm So before it. weed whackers. He's like cuz I got all my hose around. All, that's the joke, Christian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Be the guy who explains the joke. Thank you. Got all my hoes, my nearby man, in my circle. Exactly. I didn't know. I didn't know you were this, you know, com- comedically intelligent to do that. Just you know, intelligence off the cuff. should not go in a sentence involving me. I can. But, I, I, I can agree to that. Yeah, uh, I have like twelve hatchets, but like I have my little stump for throwing hatchets, which is yeah. fun. Yeah, of course. That's uh, as everyone should have. Get yourself a hatchet stump if you don't have. I remember kids. after you graduated high school, we had a bonfire in your backyard for like your homework and shit. That was great. Yeah, that was pretty, I, that was I pretty had, fun. I saved up every single assignment I had from freshman year of high school till I graduated. And I kept them separate, so I compared the four years. And it was like, freshman year, a decent amount of stuff. Sophomore year, actually the least amount of stuff. Junior year was like a damn skyscraper. Yeah, junior senior, year's the worst. Senior year was like a very mid-range, like second most. Did you do mid uh, AP classes? Uh, only a few that I knew I'd want. I'm mm. like, I'm not taking APs to take APs because... I don't want to deal with the stress because I, I always saw that as pointless. I'm like, why am I going to take AP bio or like AP physics when I wanted to go into social work and well, psychology to begin with. And I've transferred into social work now. Yeah. I'm like, why the hell am I going to take these classes that aren't going to go towards my major? But I was also lucky enough to know what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. That's always a plus. We answered that question not too long ago either with uh, Mr. YLP, Mr. Zach. So. Zatch, the Zatch, 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 Zatch. And I think it's it was uh it is Zatch, C H. What was it C K? I don't remember. Cringe. I think it's C H. All right, Chris. Next question. If you were an Olympic athlete, what? It says what sport would you compete in, but I feel like I want to modify it. Anything could be a sport. It could be something you're good at. 
sport or something you're good at. Paintball. Let's go. Let's shoot at people. Paintball. That's not an Olympic sport. Yo, but be. like in need, you know. So, oh, so so I played like. Do you think other countries play years. paintball? Yes, they do. Yeah, Russia has a like team in the NXL. Moscow Russian Legion. God, there's I, okay, the Tontons are from France. Um, there's a few teams from England, few teams around Prague. They have a whole European uh, circuit. They go Prague to like Paris, to somewhere in the UK. Um, and I forget the other two events off the top of my head, but that's their like five or maybe it's only three events in Europe because then they go to World Cup in Florida because there's a circuit in in the U.S. that's five places. It's First one's usually somewhere in California. Mm-hmm. Then it'll be like Philly or something. And then Chicago. Uh, what's number four? Texas, somewhere in Texas. Probably Austin. And then, yeah, Austin. And then it comes down to Kissimmee, Florida for World Cup at, in November. And that's where like every team's able to compete. And then you look at the records and, you know, the worst team in the like pro league, pro division gets to like brought down to semi pro. And the best team in semi pro gets brought up to pro league. Out of all the things to get into, why paintball? So, did you did you wear airsoft too and you upgrade the paintball? No, Thomas was the airsofter. I so I went was to he? a birthday party yeah. in like twenty thirteen. So my origin in paintball was twenty thirteen. Um I went to a birthday party for a buddy Yenchi. And beforehand I'm like, I don't want to suck ass at paintball. I'm gonna look up paintball on YouTube. And I came across San Diego Dynasty versus Moscow Legion in 2013. And it was a full match. It was like an hour long. I watched this entire thing and was just like perplexed by it. I'm like, I want to do this. I went to the birthday party, had a blast, shot a lot of people because I kind of figured out what to do beforehand and spent my whole childhood playing FPS games. Mm. But I was also like an athlete. I played baseball my whole life and can pick up a sport in like seconds. I'm lucky enough to just have that where I'm like, all right, fucking send it i'm gonna be competent and i had a blast that day didn't do anything with it until sophomore year of high school then i just ordered a bunch of paintball stuff i was like i'm gonna start playing paintball and then uh sporadically spent more and more on stuff and i have a lot of cool paintball shit and went to like play big events where it was like a hundred people versus a hundred people and it's a whole day thing where you're trying to capture objectives or whether it was tournaments. I've played in tournaments, placed first, second, last, and done some crazy shit. And Loser. even like, even the guy, so the last time I played paintball was last July 4th. I haven't played this past year just because I've been busy with a lot of other stuff and kind of like trying to save money and paintball's a really good way to blow your money. Mm-hmm. Like instead, instead of getting into drugs, I got into paintball, which is arguably more expensive. <laughs> honestly low key yeah. <laughs> like, depending I, on the drug some things are... i'd be spending like 120 dollars a week just on paint and that doesn't include like the thousand dollar markers and stuff i've got and jesus it's like lacrosse lacrosse is super expensive of all for no reason to, to either join. fuck it's lacrosse like... fuck lacrosse as a baseball player fuck lacrosse i agree as a baseball player fuck lacrosse lacrosse um, is all the white kids who couldn't make football basically um <laughs> stolen it's a stolen sport <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of got into it that way. And my last time playing paintball, um, I actually had my autism awareness jersey signed uh, by my idol, the guy who I like watched a ton. Ryan mm. Greenspan played for Dynasty that first ma- pro match I saw and started following Dynasty like a complete fanboy and then fell in love with Houston Heat because of the Dizon docs um, and just kind of wound up that way. So I got to meet my idol, got a signed jersey. And I was like, oh, well, I can't wear this jersey again. I'm just going to have to order another autism awareness jersey which like they cover the cost of the jersey then all the extra money they'd usually make on profit goes to um different charity groups and that was like something great like i got involved with with paintballers for the puzzle um autism awareness stuff while shooting at people just i went paintballing twice you need to come with me uh i don't shoot you in the ball i don't like don't do that (laughs) i don't i don't like paintballing because it's like i'm just gonna go to the woods and get bruised that's what paintballing is. It would be more fun if the balls actually broke more often. They break pretty de- – it's very rare to get bounces. I don't know, dude. You don't I, know what you're they would about. bounce off my off my shoulders, and off my chest. That's probably because you decided to put 20 layers on them like a little bitch. You know, that is what it is. So I, 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 I went is. paintballing for the first time, I don't know, six months ago, and I wore the wrong shit. I mean, thin, like – Where'd you go, Battle Creek or, like, down to uh, Longleaf Paintball? I have no idea where it was. I drove. I drove there. I do not remember. 
Um, I guess I could describe the courses, but I don't even remember that. My woods? Was shot. it like you drove through a lot of woods to park? I feel like that might describe most plane ball places. No, because the other one I go to, it's really quick. You're like behind a spa. I drove through some woods. All right, so then you and went then to Battle Creek. And then there was like, I don't, I'm trying to like remember. Like a fucking castle? It sounds fun, though. Battle Creek. There was like four or five different. Um, yeah, it was Battle four Creek, or five probably. Di- like the one I'm talking about had a school bus. So it was like almost like Modern Warfare 2. Battle Creek. to the school bus. That was Battle thing. Creek. Or maybe you went way down south, but that's like a two and a half hour drive. It was a long drive. Oh, so maybe it was all the way down at, um, like by Six Flags. Because that just yeah, closed yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was by Six Flags. So that one just closed down. That's actually where I played my very first like. When did it close down? Uh, this past year, they oh, got so- they got bought out by some big sports complex. Oh, so I must have just went right before they closed. You're the, you're the one who closed it down, Christian. Yo, I actually, you I shut did, that I, shit I did, down, I son. Did, I, but I did get. Or maybe I, it was got, further down to um, action. I got action jacked something. up. I I feel like I had like joggers on. Dude, that's what I have for my. But like, not have, like not like sweat material joggers. I just had like knee pads and then my my joggers. And then I have my elbow pads, but the pads are more for diving and sliding. Like, so the position I played was snake. Oh, those um, positions. Yeah, it's there like, is. I didn't. Yo, will this shit is so involved? I dude, got, I had yeah. no I idea. Got so, there and saw people like you know, like when you're playing a sport. You no, have, people take it very seriously. You I know have that. like the guys that are like, okay, like they're wearing the uniform. Then yeah. you have like the swaggy players that like have like the double, shit. the double socks and got the visors or like whatever the case may be, wristbands, like whatever sport we're talking about here. I went to this paintball place and dudes were fully suited up with all types of gear. Like it was crazy. Some people look like actual soldiers, like Yeah, and they're team usually co- shit. Team colors. The, the ones who look like soldiers are usually dog shit. What's the word for that? There's like a word for people who do stuff to like, let's say their car, but it doesn't actually make it faster. Virgins. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not um, I don't know. I just call them. It's like you put it like you. Put, it's all for show. They put, they put it's the spoiler, they put like spoilers spoiler, on there. Yeah. yeah. They spent it all on. Well, like a racing stripe. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing actually makes the car perform yeah. better. And it's actually like shit. That's it's, something. It's that's like what having, you're saying, like having lights in your sneakers. That's what you're saying. The people who get real dressed up and really take it the the, the look of it super seriously yeah. are usually trash yeah one of <laughs> one of my favorite things i did one time i was like i didn't feel like washing my stuff from the week before i just kind of left it in my bag and was yeah. like yeah so i just wore blue jeans and a t-shirt down like a long sleeve t-shirt but i had my pads under them so people couldn't see them and so they thought i was just some dude in blue jeans sneakers and a t-shirt just trying out like trying to mess around for the first time mm. and they're like oh let's fuck this guy up let's and I was just, I was just taken off. It was off to the races. And like, Silent killer. Like I was saying, I play the snake side, which is very aggressive, very fast. Like I'm full sprint and then diving onto the ground with a gun and just coming up. Yo, and... the thing that's unfair about paintball, you know, I've been paintballing well, right? I went like once or twice. Yeah. It's like you can get hit when you're not supposed to get hit. Yeah. Because they curve. Yep. <laughs> so like if you get snuck up on i got snuck like, up on once hit like i got this. fucked up you be getting hit like you know it doesn't even make any so you want to talk about getting hit when you're not supposed to so oh yeah the style i play i played speedball which was the inflatable bunkers that's what i'm talking about with positions and everything um and so we had a penalty we got a penalty the round before so we could only start with three players normally you start five on five we could only start with three players so we had this risky play where I sprint up the middle while five people are shooting at me and dive to the side to get into the 50, which is like the halfway point. And I'm in a really good spot to kill out other members of the other team. Mm. I make the run clean. I'm like, hell yeah. I come out to blow apart their team because they don't realize I'm all the way up there. And I got shot in the back by my teammate. So I'm out. I'm called out. Wait, if you get friendly fire, you get you're not you not. Oh, that sucks. Well, like, how they how they get, how can you prove it? Right, one or the other. That I mean, sense. I was shot in the back, and my back wasn't facing the bad guys, but no, oh, but, but it doesn't matter. If you're shot, you're shot, no matter what. And that sucked. And I think the penalty was because, and then no no, and then the very next round, I was like fuck. So next round, I dive into the snake. I make my way up. Shoot one. Shoot two. Shoot three. Shoot four. Shoot all five players on the other team. I'm able to work my way through and I'm like, it's clear someone come hit the buzzer to like end the point. So we win because you, you got to like touch the flag or hang your flag basically. And I didn't want to do it just in case I got dirty. And we like, we were in a rush because we were down points on the whole match mm-hmm. and we needed to win this round and no one's like on their horses. I'm like, they're all dead and no one's moving. I'm screaming for it. 
So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll take it myself. I know no one even looked at me. Like I shot everyone in the side and the back. Like no one saw where I was. Go hang it. It's a dirty hang. So it's a penalty on us. Dead point. And the dirt was on my back from where my teammate shot me the round before. He didn't wipe it off good enough. The same guy cleaned me off that shot me in. So we didn't get that next point either, which would have tied it up. And uh, yeah, sucked. Sucked you guys a got, lot. You guys got fucked, man. You, and and then, then you took the, the teammate behind the shed and cut his head off. I wish. I wish. <laughs> he was like our team captain. He was always riding our dicks. And then I'm like, Papi, por que tu hacer este? Just screaming at him. Like, why? You're always talking shit. No, you like, know a you got to get better. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. A little. Very mildly conversation. He only knows that one phrase. No, I know. Hey, 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 Will, you, you uh... Over. What sport? What what would be your, your my your sport? Olympic sport. I mean, I mean, I think it's fairly obvious. Uh dude, knock hockey. Knock hockey. <laughs> what is knock? It's uh, hockey. It's like it's like a we used to play as kids. It's like uh, this little like it's like it's like a, I don't know. It's probably about a board the size of this table. I, I've got a board in my car. I, I play that on the weekends. I'll go get it. For you. Don't don't do that. Oh, okay. Uh, my dad probably still has ours at home though, and it's broke. Hockey. We have a giant one on our dining room table. It is the size of our dining room table. It's a big dining room table. It's okay. We yeah, it's 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 essentially puck. it's like uh you each take turns like hitting the puck, like a willow wood puck, you gotta get through the hole. And uh it's like that kind of hockey on the floor. It's a children's game. It's a bad example. That That's or beer fun. pong. Beer pong should be a if curling's an Olympic sport, beer pong could be an Olympic sport. Fair. They just have to call it cup uh, pong cornhole. Or cornhole. Cornhole should be an Olympic sport. I'm fucking good at cornhole. If I have the right partner. I don't know what that is. You don't know what cornhole? It's got the giant wood board, the hole in the middle, and the bean bags. Oh, I've seen that at a game place. I don't know what the hell it is, but I've seen it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's called cornhole. Yep. Okay. Cornhole's a lot of fun. I, I, would, I would play cornhole. I remember when I don't know, the first time I played cornhole, I don't remember what the party was, but it was at Mimi's house. And like Phil was just running train all day. Yep. Hammered all day, <laughs> hammered, just tossing bags. In the the guys hole. ridiculous at cornhole because that's the first time I played it, and we played all day, all day. It's surprisingly addicting. It's so like, much it's fun. It's such a simple game. Then you're yeah. like, get the bag on the board. It's so it looks so easy, and you play it, and you're like, oh shit, this is kind of hard. There's a little bit of finesse to it. There is. Everyone, everyone has their own way of playing. I go for height and let it plop. I started being the same way. I like underhand spinning height. Mm. I had it. Christian, what about you? What's your what's your Olympic sport? Freestyling, right? Like, like rap, rapping. Rapping. No, I will not freestyle right now. But no, no, that's not fair. It's not fair to ask someone to freestyle like that on the spot. It's like a comedian. Some, you're, you're, the, you're, you do comedy. Tell me a joke. Yeah, that's not how it works. That's <laughs> not how it works. Walk away. Well, it is how it works. Although, no, Jared can do it. Jared Laverne's really good at freestyling on the spot. Oh yeah, we've we him and I have done it back. You know, back back in the day. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at that. I'd yeah. say uh, I could see that. I could go and for hours. Do you write at all, Christian? Yeah, I do. I mean, that's how I started, and then I discovered, you know, in less sober environments, that I had this uncanny ability when not sober to come up with stuff that sounds like I wrote it down and molded over, but it's literally just spewing. It's like one of those medicine commercials where, like, <laughs> you... side effects. <laughs> no, I, this is how I describe it. It's like me freestyling is like. One of those medicine commercials where, like, in medicine commercials, you always see, like, you see, like, a white family, and then they'll have, like, a black guy in there to throw them in there. But anyway, they're, like, walking through a park, and, like, you'll just see them walking around doing, like, everyday activities, and then there's, like, words describing the medicine in the commercial. That's how it is when I'm in that state. It's just mm -hmm. grabbing words. Liquid diarrhea. Uh, grabbing you know, words. And inverted hair. penis. <laughs> Side effects may include inverted penis, violent diarrhea, and... Plethora. All right, so on the Olympic topic, I, I saw this on Reddit the other day, um, and it's kind of it's a pretty old post. I don't know why it was trending or something, but do you think in the Olympics we should have a separate Olympics where people can take as many steroids and do whatever they want to their bodies? That no, would be crazy. Like, it, it would be like crazy. how high can someone truly? Jump? Well, here's the here's the problem with that, Christopher, because then there would only be one Olympics. Nobody would watch the other Olympics. That's. I was gonna say something. Up, but I'm choosing not to. <laughs> yeah, I that's true. I was not gonna to. say something too. I don't, I don't know. If we'll I mean, think like the, the, the steroid Olympics would be way better. Oh, 100%. Way better. But it's like, 
there's like certain sports where there's multiple versions of a sport. I one's feel just like better. people would die though. People would die if not we while competing like overpopulated as us, is. If it that's would their take choice. Us back to like, like you know, fighting you know, like a lion, with, like you're in there with a sword. And I'm a shield. for it. It if would someone, take us back to those. As times. long as people aren't forced to do it, if someone wants to fight a lion for our entertainment, uh, let them. They're like this. Like I agree, hey, sir. Get handed. I, I agree. Get Darwinism. Get handed. We yeah. need Darwinism to be yeah. integrated you get in our handed society like a more. Book of waivers, like sign. Dude, if Alien was just like, you know what, we're gonna renovate the Colosseum and bring this shit back. Yeah. I'd go watch a Roman style navy battle as long as the people in it were risking their lives willingly. Like volunteer <laughs> staff. Risking their lives. Yeah. Like if well, they're gonna okay. fight a lion. If they're gonna do fight a lion to the death. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, but could you videotape it? Hell yes. I mean like I don't care. I'll find it on Live Leak if it's not it allowed anyway. No, I mean, like, could I'm saying, like, no, it, sh- it would 100% could, be could televised. Could that legally be televised if it's actual death and actual murder? Yeah, mm. we just have to change some laws around for that. I think the FCC yeah, change and some laws. I think the internet and the FCC would have something to say about that. Yeah, so what? Uh, here's the thing we're getting overpopulated as is. I think by like 2100, <laughs> we're supposed to reach like this is 11 billion people. Thing. I've been a proponent for industrial Darwinism. For such a long time. I have no problem with lion fighting or like, gladiator fighting. Like people should be gladiator. allowed to do that. I'm just saying, also, I don't think you can televise it. Yeah, you should. I, I, you can make it, yeah. Should you? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, but no, I, if someone's I think, doing that and is surviving, they deserve to make a fuck ton of money they off do. ad revenue. But I think showing live death you know what, on, on Twitch. Air, we'll like do it on somehow, Twitch. I feel like somehow they'd get paid less than boxers, even though there's actual death in a great possibility. It depends. It really depends on how it's set up, but fuck the ethics of it. They'll make more than the happen. WNBA, that's for sure. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Or, um... The, the seats would be filled. Oh, yeah. yeah. All yeah. of them. Do you know how many people would be oh, watching I'd go. that? Are you kidding Hell me? yeah, I'd go. But, so, like, they what would I was... just need, like, a celebrity to start it. Yo, Snoop. This is why I need Snoop? fuck you money. Yeah, fuck you money. If I need fuck you money to do something like this, but for every project, like... Snoop bringing would back Gladiator. Snoop rating. wouldn't be in it, Will. He'd host. No, that's what I mean. Like he, he's Snoop one who, and Kevin Hart he would run the promotion, it. and he'd be smoking a joint while he does it. Like, like it needs to be Snoop Dogg and Dana White, <laughs> I, co-owners. Like, like having fuck you money. I think you should be able to do stuff like bringing back human gladiators and like people dying on live television. Why not? <laughs> but as a trade-off, you have to do something really good for the world. Like you have to stop an entire country from starving because you have that much fuck you money. I think that should be the trade-off. You can do something completely outlandish if it's like, you know what? We're going to take the entire state of Ohio and make it not shit anymore. Like something along those lines. You're like, I'm going to take this whole country and stop them from starving. And then you're allowed to let people fight to the death against lions. That would be putting value on human life. (laughs) There is no value to our lives. That's the thing. The only value that is here on our lives is what's assigned to us by either yourself or others. And once you're not valuable to yourself or others, your life is completely meaningless. That's like the darkest. Reach. <laughs> Reach. Good God. <laughs> Again, why we need industrial Darwinism. Life becomes more precious. That's, that's Take a- the warning labels off everything. If you want to start a chainsaw with the blades between your legs, you don't <laughs> deserve a ball sack. <laughs> like... Like yeah, oh, you, you spilled sue. McDonald's coffee on you and you sue them? No, no, yeah, no, dude, no, no, no. You dude, deserve that. I feel like I feel like you can't sue someone if you're just an idiot and don't have common sense. Take I one. Actually, I read about everything. that McDonald's story. That had like some genuine backstory to it. Like, dude, someone sued. Like, it was I ridiculously mean, they hot. Genuinely got they like genuinely third had degree the burns. Coffee way way too hot. Way 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 way. way. Someone sued McDonald's because they didn't give them enough napkins. Really? I saw. Yeah. They I saw. I forget if it was Burger they King probably, or McDonald's. They, they fell off. Next week at McDonald's, seat. see how many napkins they give you. That's your answer. I've I never mean, gotten apparently napkins. with this lady, like McDonald's was making their coffee so hot that it would still be hot, like after your commute, after you got on the train, did the whole commute, you got there, it still was like maybe. That's how hot it was. Yeah, no, she got like third degree burns from it. I, okay, that in that, lawsuit in is that case, valid. in that old case, lady, it's valid. Old lady, and pro- if it was a jury of her peers, actually, all of them are sympathetic, and that's why McDonald's lost that case by the millions. I don't know what the, the number figure is, but anyway, next question. Let's let's, uh, let's do number one seventy nine. Uh, exactly, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, because Chris should have had that one sixty nine. No, nice. dude, I just, I just, I put them in Fair order. Point. That's just, it's just the order of I write, if I think of them. Fair I don't, point. I don't rearrange numbers. Did you have a ghostwriter? 
I I I put I when I put new I don't questions, I throw them in <laughs> random spots just so. Yeah, don't do that. That's the, that, that fucks me up. That's well, the they're best. random anyway. No, no, they're random, but like uh, on the graphics, uh, on the graphics on the actual final video, I put the number of the question in the in the graphics. So you, oh, okay. I wonder, yeah, don't don't I wonder. put them in the middle because that would really fuck me up. Okay. I say you put them in the middle just to fuck with them. Huh. That's a fuck request. All right, because so Christopher specifically asked this All question. Right, so, so, yeah. So Christopher, you asked this one. Why do people pay for OnlyFans? You have the floor, sir. All right. So my whole thought behind this, besides like, get let's get past the sad and lonely part, because that's an obvious. If you're paying to see titties, you're sad and lonely. But you brought up a good point earlier before we, while we were setting everything up, Christian, that you're like, you know, it's more of a genuine connection. It's kind of like why people subscribe to Twitch, to Twitch streamers. And like, like it's, it's more than like, just, oh, you know what? Here's your money. I want to buy pictures of you. Which is kind of how I thought about it at first, which is the whole rant I, I, I have. Yeah. I think so, it's very personal. So I'll let you go in, into that in a second because yeah. my thoughts beforehand when I first saw this is like something I've always thought of, when it was, whether it was like Patreon or anything. Like why are you paying these people just to see titties or whatever? Like look up Pornhub, look up X videos, look up the millions and millions of free porn sites. What was that last one? Uh... uh I don't remember X videos. Maybe I, I feel it like was... you. I feel like you got a third man. It was a clearly, joke. It was a joke. X, that, it, was a, it was a joke that know. didn't land. It's fine. Corn hub. Clearly, Cornhub's clearly he's a, a watcher. One. Clearly he's a watcher. Brazzers. There we go. You know, what? are we just gonna list them all off? I don't know. Hotmilfs dot com. I'm sure that's one. Probably. Or if, it might if be you like just this, put anything dot com in front. You of could it, type you'll get this, this. This domain does not exist. Titties dot com. Guarantee that's a thing. Someone um, owns it. But so porn dot com. So, like, I kind of went down the, the rabbit hole myself of what do I do if I found out, like, my child paid for porn on, like, a hotel? um Because I kind of see it the same way. Like, OnlyFans is basically just paying for porn. Like, what if yes, they bought the exactly porn channel is. at the hotel? Yeah. What if they paid for browsers? I'd be so disappointed. I'd be like, I have a stupid child. Yeah. they Do they not <laughs> realize this is for completely something that's free. free? Like, yeah. Seriously. Like, come on. Especially, I mean, that's like, a whole other conversation as to why any porn should be free. Like these are actual performers and actors. Yeah, but ad cameras, revenue. ad revenue. You can you can pay them revenue. off ad. It's like podcasting. Exactly. <laughs> it's like podcasting. Like there's some that are higher quality than others. There's a reason there's an amateur section. <laughs> but um, but I'm like just the disappointment I'd have like in my kid. Like you're you're that stupid. Mm -hmm. That you're paying my, probably my money, mind you, because mm -hmm. he, he'd be a dumbass child. Because when it's his money, he'd be like, "Why am I spending money on boobs when I can type boobs into Google?" Like, it's just like the disappointment and stupidity I, I see behind it, and like that's not to degrade any like people who are paying for OnlyFans. It's just all the people on OnlyFans. You, you should because they 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 are the smart ones. Yeah. Well, here's, here's, if you're if you're on OnlyFans making a killing, girl, good on you. I just wish I guys could pay too. my rent. I wish I could guys pay too, yeah. guys too, with pictures of my asshole. Well, here's my thing. It's also a little bit of jealousy. Like I, I think it's way like because I know you guys said it's like the same as paying for porn. I don't see it that way because there's a whole social aspect to it. Yeah, like there's been times where I've come across profiles like, oh, this girl's kind of cute. Link in the bio. OnlyFans. So there are genuinely people out there that follow them, like, so let's say on an Instagram profile, and they're looking at their regular pictures, but they're also invested. It's like they have, like, I think people that pay for an OnlyFans, they have a crush. Yeah. Which is why I think it's a lot more personal, because you're putting money in this person's pocket, and you're following them on regular social media, so you kind of have an idea of their regular life, but you're also following them on OnlyFans and funding... So they can continue doing this, um, and I think it's personal in that way. It's bro, like, that, that it's like it's like that, a fake relationship. A, you said a, that off. You it, said it, that it is. Offline. It is. It is a fake relationship. But bro, like that can't be healthy. It isn't. That's like you, you feel connected. You're you're you feel connected to people. this person. Yeah, but they don't you're give a giving fuck this about money. You. They don't give a shit about you. That's the no, thing. no. Well, Nor should they, because they're fucking creepy. There's lonely guys out there that are like. A lot of them are creepy. I'm like, sure it's not. Let's sure a lot say, of them are normal. What's what's what's, what's the so. example only fans girl name that we're gonna use as this example? Dude, I have no idea. I I've, I've never let's been on OnlyFans. That's a nor let's a name. Brittany? Brittany? 
Yeah, it's like, oh, I follow Britney okay, on, so we got on made up Instagram, name. Okay. and I also am paying for her OnlyFans, and I check in on it, and I'm giving her a couple dollars a month. Her. Her specifically. Yeah, but not, you also get not, to see not, her titties. Not, not, not brazzers, not porn. Not even, not, not even it's sometimes. Not, it's not yeah. a business that, like, the money gets broken up. Like, you are feeding this girl. You are helping her put clothes on her back. Or guy. Or helping to take them off. Hey, yo. Oh. So I think it's I think it's personal. I think it's a little bit, it's a step past porn addiction for me. I oh, that that's crazy because porn addiction is legit. Oh yeah, porn addiction is porn addiction is legit. But, also, I, but, but I think is I don't think it's porn addiction though. It's I, a step further. It's it's, it's it's almost it's almost it's something it's, else. It's not even it's like, so, it's it's borderline obsession. Isn't that kind of like it's almost like a it's like a cat, almost like a catfish situation where you're talking to mm, a girl but you never actually meet her. Right. And that's to me, that's similar. You're never gonna meet this OnlyFans chick. Well, also, also, um, you guys know I'm a big wrestling fan. A lot of a lot of the wrestlers, not necessarily in WWE, but like independent wrestlers, will also have an OnlyFans. However, but like Patreon, like Patreon, yeah, like but shows. they won't do nudes. They'll just do like lingerie or whatever, what have you. But they make a lot of money as well because they're like they're celebrities. Well, that's like the cosplaying side of um, yeah, the cosplaying side too. of OnlyFans. Yeah, like you have a lot of people who are out there who are just cosplayers and they're lewd cosplays. But then you have the lewder pictures, like the extended set, and you can yeah. get access to those. It's like that's what it was designed for. Yeah, it was what it was designed for. But like at the same time, Tumblr was created to just share funny stories and it evolved. Yeah. Yeah, and this podcast was created to ask funny questions, and here we are. Talking still, about how life still is asking, useless. Still asking funny questions. But it's actually got me the idea of, okay, again, porn changing industry. If, we can, if you can convince a bunch of people to pay for something that's already free as a business model, what else can it work for? And this is what I came up with. It's, okay, so it's the idea of a fake relationship. What else could you have online with a fake relationship? Friendship. Dogs. 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 What do you mean? There, people. I, I shit you not. Dudes. Tamagotchis. That's Some, literally what you're pitching yeah, sure, me right now. Yeah, sure, sure, exactly. You're literally just pitching me. Sure. Like Nintendo someone, dogs. someone is gonna have an account for their dog where people can pay to get exclusive videos, photos, and no, chats with that dog. People already do that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, so there's actually this one girl I follow. She used to date Tobuscus back in the day. Who is that? Ah, uh, Jessica. Who? No, who's Tobuscus? You don't remember? That's a name. Tobuscus? You don't remember Tobuscus? No idea who Tobuscus is. Oh my is. god, like old like kid, like played a bunch of Happy Wheel stuff and then just sung a bunch of like random songs, like pure ADHD bliss. Hence why I loved him. Fair. That's a but there was like a whole bunch of shit. So I ended up coming across her one day, just like scrolling through reels, and she has this parrot, which is adorable and hilarious. And like her whole page, like she's a cute girl with blue hair and like but like she's just got this parrot, and that's like her whole thing. But she has an OnlyFans dedicated straight to the parrot. It's like her OnlyFans is just the parrot. So I'm sure there's people who subscribe to it thinking it's going to be her doing like weird and stuff. Parrot. And it's just her parrot doing like a bunch of cool parrot stuff. I yeah, guess. dude. P- pause only or pause off, I think, would be a phenomenal app where it's just your relationship with people's dogs, other people's dogs. I think that's, I think that's actually like one of the, the better things to OnlyFans is that when if you say you have an OnlyFans and you're already somewhat famous, people are going to think one thing and head over there. Yeah, and then even get, if it's and then get else. whatever's really behind. I mean, that's what like Belle Delphine did uh, at yeah. some point. Yeah, she made she, she a was like killing. oh killing. Yeah, but she's like oh selling bathwater and whatever. Like there's that weird stuff. But then she, bathwater. I remember there was like the whole. She's like oh I'm gonna put out a video of me, and it was like a bunch of different puns to uh like sex, and then it was like a video of the pun happening. She's mm. like I'm gonna deep throat a celebrity, and then she just took a picture of that celebrity, crumpled it up, and ate it. And that was the video she put up, Hilarious. and people were pissed. And I was like, "Yes." What did you What did you expect? Like, I was like, "Yes." I mean, well, she does post a lot of like lewd stuff. Yeah, like that's like her, yeah, it's on that's brand. her whole platform. Yeah, she trolled. And then she got everyone, but she put like six videos up, at, at, like weeks after. And she's like, "I'm sorry, I got you guys." And then she kept getting the internet. It was like they kept getting got. She's like, "I'm sorry, guys. I'll actually put up this video of another like." sexual in you <laughs> she did and it again? she did it again oh for like five God. or six videos that's hilarious and i'm like yo i mean she knows it's, it's, it's carrot and stick i mean i think i think it's this whole only fans thing is basically the same thing that the birth of streaming did for art for independent artists 
Mm. So like now, like with porn, you don't need the big, you know, studio to, to you know, shoot the porn. Yeah, anyone, anyone can be a porn star. Anybody can be a porn star. Yeah, but that's what the amateur section is for. But but to see the amateurs, they still, it's... It, it's like, like a they, step above. A lot of the amateurs are also on OnlyFans. Well, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying prior to OnlyFans, amateur was still like, it's a step above. <laughs> it was Kim K. It was like, you're kind of trying. It's just Don't look, get me started it's just like on the Kardashians. Like OnlyFans, Useless family. OnlyFans, there's no expectation that it's going to be like, you know, a 4K video. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no expectation. Right. But I'm saying it puts the power into the actual porn star's, you know, hand, so to speak. And the same thing with I think artists trying to compete with Patreon. who like needed a record label. <laughs> now they can just release their music independently mm. and get the money directly. They don't have to cut it, you know, 50 times before it gets there. So that's kind of how I see it. Now. Interesting. With music. And all, that. all right. All right, gentlemen. Well, I'm getting hungry. So before we go, two I'm things. starving. Two things. Feed yeah. me. I'm going to get some food after this. Business card. You oh, wanna, you want to show so, me this. It's been sitting on a table looking at yeah. it all day. So what the so, fuck is it? So I was bored during quarantine and remembered a meme I saw on iFunny in middle school back in like 2012. And so I got the business cards actually made. So like, it's not my original idea, but I actually went, spent $15 and had 250 of these made. So I brought them in as a little housewarming gift. So I'm, I'm going to let I'm, you I'm read one of, one of these off. Are oh, they both I the, are they all the same thing? Okay. Yeah. The way you pulled in makes me wish your dad had pulled out. Learn to park. Oh God, that's amazing. So I've left probably about 12 of these on people's windshields because they're parked like complete and utter assholes. But I only, I also only use them when people are parked like complete and utter assholes. Learn to park in this Mickey Mouse in the middle. With double. Just, I, I love this. So I, yeah. So I keep a bunch on me. I've given a bunch to friends. This is the best business card I've ever got. But here's the thing. Look at my wallet. I don't use it on people who are just like slightly too far over. No, they gotta be blatant. But I'll use it on the asshole who's like crisscrossed over a second space. Ah, fuck or my like parked, in the car. Parked like that close to oh, my it? driver's side door. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah there's your wallet. Now. I almost, I almost left my wallet in the car. So that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad you brought me these. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hang on to this. I wanted, to, I wanted to give you a buddy as a. I'll, 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 I'll leave. I'll leave one for Christian, and I'll take two for myself. <laughs> and I'm like, I love these. And you're in Hoboken, so that just all the all the more. Dude, I, I'm going to tell you what. I've got a shit ton of them, so if la you ever run out, just let la me know. Last year, last, uh, two years ago when I moved, I had to get like the no parking sign so I can keep the moving truck in there. And the cars were still there. I'm going to hang on to these for when I move again because I know it's going to happen again. Are you going to move somewhere else in Hoboken? Yeah, Jazz and I are going to move in together. Uh, oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah. Congratulations. So that's, that's a plan. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but before we go, last thing. Chris, I know you don't listen to this podcast, but that's okay because this is a curveball at the end. The last question of the podcast always goes to the guest. So is there any question you ever wanted to ask me I out wish of you all these years? I prepared something. No, no, no. Right? On this, if you listen to the podcast, motherfucker, you right. would have known it was coming. It's, it's okay because I'm going to ruin your fucking day. All right. Where was the first wank you had? Explain. <laughs> you know, the other part of this, I can always plead the fifth. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're going to not give me time to repair. Nah, dude, new question. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, Hello, I'll give you 10 for the originality. I thought it was pretty solid, especially for coming up like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you can always pick the fifth, too, because I throw you on the spot. Uh, but that's no fun. I know it's no fun, but I always no. give you an out. Yeah, well, outs are for pussies. All right. So we're gonna I'm going to take it back to the gladiatorial arena. Okay. If you had to be in one of those, like any gladiatorial fight, like chariot racing, fighting a lion, fighting another person... Or like naval battles, what would it be and why? Like you know, they used to flood the Coliseum. Yeah, they used to flood the Coliseum and, and do it. how many ships and how many people on the ships? Let's say with like three, and you got a team of I don't know, however the hell many it takes to man a ship. I'd probably do the ships. Elaborate, I, come on. I'd, I'd, you, you I'd, need to know elaborations. I'm gonna, key I'm to gonna, a gonna podcast. give you a second, motherfucker. I'm gonna answer your question. <laughs> I'd probably do a ship because I have no idea how it would work. It'd be a complete wild card, and I feel like. Like, all I would need to do is just steer. Like, I would just row the boat. That's all my job would be. Row. 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 Yeah. Not with those noodle arms. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. These, these puppies right here. Like, I feel like the highest chance of survival would be the naval battle. 
Lion, I'm dead. 1-1 one, one Gladiator, dead. Chariot Race, that's a close second. But then I gotta know how to ride a chariot. At least like, I can go a boat in rhythm. It's not too hard. Well, the, well, the boat is not just you. So You gotta rely on a bunch of other dipshits. Yeah. Well, are they dipshits? Do they know what they're doing? It depends. If, if we're just randomly throwing William in. If this is a volunteer style like we were discussing earlier, they probably won't be dipshits. But if it's just, you no, they know, probably as would they be did dipshits. back in the day. There's a bunch of slaves and prisoners. <laughs> yeah. like, that's a different story. Yeah, I would, I would definitely. at the same time, you're genuinely fighting for your life. So they'd probably try to be as litty, least dipshit as possible. Yeah, or oh, I'm on the boat, like, shooting fire arrows. You know how to shoot a bow? It's hard. I can do it. I'll teach you how to shoot a bow. I mean, you although, and, uh, we, did, we did it in gym in high school. It was, we had like the, uh, I'm jealous. We, we had the assistant. Like, it was like, there, it wasn't like, it was, like a straight drawstring. It had like a little clip. You clip the arrow in and let go. I'm jealous. So it wasn't like legit, legit, but it was, yeah, I know, I know how to shoot a bow. It's hard, but I know how to do it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, so yeah. what about you, Christian? What are you, what are you taking? I'd say the one-on-one -on -one with the guy or probably the boat. I'm not, I'm not with it fighting a lion. <laughs> Hell no, dude. Hell no. Like, but the thing is, there is something to fighting like an animal that like animals are smart, but they're not as smart as humans. So there might be a way to outsmart the lion. But like you gotta kill the lion though. Like it's you or the lion. Yeah, it's, like, lions are lions are big. Like I'm not really trying to kill a lion. And they're muscular. They like, are you, strong. First you gotta get close shit. enough to kill this thing. And like it ain't going down without a fight. And it's got it's got paws. It'll still swat your swords away. Like, well, see, at least at least with lions though, it'll kill you quickly. Not really. Uh, no, lions uh, lions don't eat stuff alive. Get, lions don't no, that's bears. Lions get, don't play with their food. Lions go right, right for the head. jugular and just kill you. All right, so then, but it's if, not if gonna it, be quick though. It, it could be if your throat's ripped out. I mean, it's suffocation oh. though. It's not like instant, like the movies where oh, you get shot in the throat. It's like you're suffocating on your own blood as you're. No, it, it can just, it can just go bite your neck and you're dead. I think I'm going. I'm going with the with the guy. Th those are the three options, right? Or or yeah, any or other a chariot. Or, yeah, a chariot. or maybe like you know they what do is, a play. What is a chariot. <laughs> you don't know what a chariot is? No. Nah. So it's Pull like a picture. you have. You have two horses in front that you're basically yourself, behind you need to put on the cart. Yeah, chariots are sweet. Chariots are sweet. Chariots are pretty sweet. Um, chariots are pretty badass. Yeah, chariots are pretty badass. You have to whip. You, it would basically Mush! be like a race, but as you're racing, you're also trying to murder each other. Oh, that seems kind of fun. Yeah, it's, that's like multitasking. That's hard. Yeah. Although, there can be two people on the chariot. So we got the chariot up. Sometimes. Yeah, Sometimes. yeah that, that's, a, that's a chariot. Okay, yeah. I mean, I know what a chariot is. I didn't know what... So like it would be the, so you know the shape. Yeah, you'd be the one on the far right. Instead of a circle, it would be like an oval, kind of like this table, like a track. Yeah, yeah. And you'd be racing around the track, but also you know trying he, to murder he, each you other. Want, you want the four hundred? See, that <laughs> seems that seems kind of fun. It also so okay. So the options are chariot, one on one with another human being. Oh, like oh, like three on three. They would do three on three combat. Lion, yeah, they did. Yeah, team combat. Yeah. But that, that sucks, then you're also relying on two people, because you might end up in a two-on-one then. If yeah, then you have mega dies. fucked. Or you can two-on-one right. them. You can double-team them. Right. Eiffel Tower! Eiffel, Eiffel Tower! Tower. <laughs> Precisely. I'm going with the one-on-one. Or right. the chariot. I'm gonna I don't know Navy. about this ship thing. Like, I don't know about all that. I mean, how big was the, how big is the Colosseum? Because, like, also, how are they filled up with water? I... The Romans were way smarter than us. Where'd, the, a, where'd the water a, come from? If we gave the Romans modern equipment, guarantee there'd be a space elevator already. They just have like pull and spring and just like yeah, they just they filled buckets. it up. Okay, buy bucket. They buy buckets. <laughs> that, well, that's what all the slaves were for. I guess. Bring us water, peasants. And it's like, how did the pyramids get built? Slavery. Aliens. 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 The, the alien and Hitler channel. The ghost. That's where of, I the ghost of Joe that. Rogan. <laughs> 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 all right, but that was fun, guys. Christian, how long we go for? That was hour 14. All right. That's why that's, that's what I was feeling. I was feeling my bones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Talking with Tara Shuck Podcast. Thank you again to my cousin, Chris. Talking with Tara Shucks. Talking with Tara. Oh, you're right. Talking with Tara I'm Shucks. Always right. That's a good one. That's the name of the episode. Talking with Tara Shucks. That was good. That was good. Christopher, you plug. Follow me on Twitch, Instagram, uh, OnlyFans. I did start a paperwork gaming OnlyFans because someone said I wouldn't. There's nothing on there because OnlyFans won't, literally will not let me post videos. Bullshit, by the way. Uh, and TikTok, really? all paper or gaming. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to check that out because I'm not a moron. It's stupid. It doesn't let me put stuff on OnlyFans. I'm not a moron, but I am Will Tarash. Tears and Thomas, A-R-A-S-H-U-K. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. All the podcasts can be found 
Anywhere podcasts can be found. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google, Apple. I said iTunes and Apple twice. Yeah, leave us a funny review so uh, we can read them out loud sometime, maybe. Oh, I can't wait to read comments. Christian, people got really mad at the stairs, really mad at you for saying right-wing media is worse than left-wing media. People got fucking yeah, mad. whatever. Yeah, I know. It, it, whatever I saw right. that clip the other day, and I was like, it's kind of right. It's way more It's way more extreme. They're, they're like, Tucker Carlson be ripping people up, but, like, always the most unqualified people, though. If you bring a dipshit on, you're going to get dipshit answers. Stupid, stupid people ask stupid questions and get stupid answers. Christian, your plugs. CubeRecordingStudios.com, Montclair, New Jersey. Come through. Audio, video, we can handle it all, as you can see, and get you live streamed on all platforms, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or anyone that I didn't think of. And that's all I got to say on that. Yeah, OnlyFans. Also quite handsome, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eligible, eligible bachelor. All right, ladies, wait. ladies. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time. Uh, next episode, I don't know when I'm going to release this one. I got to figure out the order. But we'll see you there. Y'all take care.